we'll come back to it. Okay, so the first technique of answering questions, I call it the flip side of the argument. Okay. You give the opposite side and it makes it clear to people. You flip it around and it becomes clear to people why, it, first of all, why the question is wrong, for example. So you get them to think of the opposite of this argument and you, you get them to understand why their question is incorrect to begin with. So, A, question A, why do Muslims grow their beards? And actually a non-Muslim once asked me this question. I used to work at a company where there were many Muslims. He noticed the Muslims had beards. So he asked me, I want to ask you, why is it that Muslims always grow their beard? And I, my answer was, I understand why you're asking me that question. Meaning, considering the environment in which we live. I said, but I actually don't grow it. It comes out by itself. <laughs> True or false? It's not like I wake up and put some manure, and go outside in the sun, check, is it growing? Huh? Is it growing? It just comes out by itself. So I told him, because what is natural is when a male matures, he develops facial hair. So if you ask a child now to draw the face of a man and the face of a woman, the child will naturally add facial hair to the face of the man. Because when a man develops, he naturally produces facial hair. So what is natural is for your hair to grow out. But what is not natural is to insist every morning on removing every stubble of hair and cutting yourself in the process and putting the cologne and sticking the little tissues all so you can say, ah, like that guy in the Gillette commercial. <laughs> yeah. So when I, asked, when I said this to him, guess what he said? Because I could have told him it's the way of all the prophets of Allah and all the prophets had beards. And, but you know what? When I said that to him, you know what he said? He said, you know what? I never thought of that. I shouldn't ask you why you grow your beard. You should ask me why. <laughs> so, what happens here? We're using this technique. You flip the question around and suddenly they understand what's so clear about it.